Hi guys, it's Vanessa. I'm here and it is cold in Chicago. If you can't tell by my hat, it's freezing. So I thought it would be fun to do a splurge versus steel inspired by icy cold weather. So I busted out this hat that I haven't worn since high school and my little, um, little bling bling ice studs. But here's the look. Hopefully you guys can see it. It's just like a really icy shimmery from um, lash line to brow bone, like shimmery white, and then a glitter liner, and then a pop of sparkly navy blue liner on the lower lash line, some pale pink cheeks, and some icy, icy, whoa, <laughs> icy frosty pink lips. So this look isn't really for everyone. Like the pink lips, as you can tell, kind of wash me out. I would probably wear a little bit of a a uh, lip that had a little bit more color to it, but I thought that why not, you know, you could make it work. Like I would probably add a pinker um, sheer gloss on top of this, but either way, here we go. We'll get started. So on the high end side of my face, I primed um, my lid only with Max Chromaline in pure white. I have shown this before. I really like this product. They're like, um, if a fluid line and a paint pot got together, and um, made a product, this would be it. Um, they have them in an array of colors, but they're not all eye safe. Um, the white one is though. And I like them because they just stay put forever. They're like paint pots, but creamier because of the fluid line property to it. And um, they stay on forever and they're fantastic. So check those out if you can. And then um, on the low inside of my face, this is kind of like funny to even see, but it is if you can see in there that white gunk, <laughs> this is a melted down NYX jumbo pencil in white. And nor normally the jumbo pencils um, come in a container like this. So they have a white one and I forget what, I think it's called white. <laughs> I'll try to find out if it has a, a milk. That's the name of it, milk. So it is just a creamy white that you could use as a base. And that's a lot of product. And there it is right there. There they are side by side. So the only thing to think about is that the chroma lines kind of set more than this does. This doesn't really set per se. It um, It's a little bit greasier. So you want a thin layer of the jumbo pencil and you want to really blend it out before you apply your color. So that is that. And then on top of that, like I said, from my lash line to brow bow, I just did a really frosty white color on this side of my face, the high-end side, I used um, this Makeup Forever color. Okay, I'm really slow with the Makeup Forevers. So the reference says 90941. So I'm assuming that that's the name of it because I know they go numbers, but with these I can never figure it out. And this took a tumble, so it's a little messy, but it's just a super shimmery white color. There it is right there. Um, and I really like this color. It's good um, to add on top of other eyeshadows and stuff, um, but it's really pretty and sheer and white and super sparkly. There it is on my hand if you can see it. And then on the low end side of my face, we are using Wet n Wild Mega Shimmer Shimmer Dust in White Lotus. So it comes in this little cute square container. And when I open it, that's what it looks like. Now, what I will say about the Wet n Wild one is that there is less pigment to it than there is like shimmer and small glitter. Um, with the one from Makeup Forever, you definitely get a little bit more of that white. You can probably tell on my eyes. I can in person. I don't know if you can on camera because of the lighting. But um, it just kind of blends out to more of a shimmer. Like that's the... Um, Wet n Wild one, so I don't know if you could see, it's just kind of glitter, not so much color. And then here's the Makeup Forever one, you can see more color. So, but it is buildable, because that's what I did. And you do get um, more fallout with that one, just an FYI. But if you're on a very tight budget, and Makeup Forever is nowhere in your vocabulary or budget, this is a good dupe, you just have to work with it a little bit harder. Then I lined my upper lash line, and what I did is I laid down a gel eyeliner, which is my splurge recommendation. 
This is Frost Light by MAC, and this one is like an iridescent -y white. Um, and it comes out looking like this when you lay it down, but if you rub it in, it's actually like a white gold. I think this color is since discontinued, but um, my splurge recommendation is fluid lines in general. So any color they have, I just think that they're really great. They glide on the eye, they're creamy, they make great bases for eyeshadows. You can use them kind of like you would use a paint pot or a chroma line, or you can just use them as a beautiful liner. Um, most of them... I don't know if there are water line safe, but I have used some of the colors in my water line and I didn't have a problem at your own risk, but um, they're great in the water line. They're just smooth and creamy and they last forever. So this is my splurge recommendation. And on top of that, I put my steel recommendation, which is another Wet n Wild product. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Sparkle in Confetti, I think, oh, and Periwinkle. And this is just a super pretty glitter if you can see it's like silver and um specks of like holographic glitter and blue and purple and it's gorgeous and i've seen this in several of my magazines i'll do a little i've seen it in several of my magazines that um, makeup artists carry it in their kit and whatnot so it's really really pretty um glitter and it looks really pretty on top of darker colors everywhere and it's so cheap it's like no more than three dollars and i think it's under that so check that out sorry about that my camera did something weird but on the lower lash line i forgot to mention earlier so i'm putting it in now um on the high end side of my face i used max fly by blue pearl glide liner which is a navy with sparkles very beautiful it's one of my favorite colors i love it and hopefully you can see that it's really pretty and i love it a lot and then on the low end side of my face, I use my Milani Magic, <laughs> Black Magic Eye Pencil, and I think it's just blue. And this is a double-ended brush or pencil, and to get the effect, you need to use both sides. This one sadly just broke, and I can't find my um, big pencil sharpener, but as you can see, it's just that. Hopefully, I could get some color out. And then this side is the glitter side, so you just put it on top. So that one's there on the top. It's a little bit darker. The bottom one is definitely just pure black or pure blue, and this one is black mixed with blue. But it's really pretty, super sparkly, super cheap. The only thing is the Milani one smudges a little bit more, but that is the lower lash line liner. So next, we're going to move on to our cheeks. On the high end side of my face, I use this Lancome. Um, mosaic rose blush um, now I got this at the cosmetic outlet so I don't know if they still make it but this is what it looks like it comes with like a really light pink you could use as a highlight a medium tone and then like this kind of rose color um, but I just kind of swirled them all together oh that's not my brush but I swirled it all together with the blush brush and I just applied it um, for an all-over color but you could use this as a highlight um, and just use the top two colors all over and then the lightest color is a highlight. But it's a really pretty, it's um, a great blush. You kind of feel like you're getting three colors in one. So if they do still offer this, it's a great deal. On the low end side of my face, a product that is no stranger to Splurge versus Steel. And it's the NYC Color Wheel. I think I have compared this to like three different blushes already. So I either have all the same blush color and I just need to diversify. Or this is a really diverse product, which I think is what it is. So if you notice on this wheel, you'll notice that there are like light pink, uh, medium tone pink, and darker pink colors, which is what makes it so comparable to this one. Kind of see the same colors going on there. So I'll do a swatch. This is, sorry to flip you off, but that is the one from Lancome. And then... <laughs> That's the NYC one. I don't know if you guys can see that. There they are together. When you throw them on your um, cheeks though, you just get this kind of light peachiness, or peachiness, pink look that we like. So that is that. Now, the part you all hate that I love, glasses time. Ooh, I can see no more squinting. This is amazing. <laughs> So on my lips today, I went for, like I said, a really, really um, pale icy pink. Um, 
not for the faint of heart. So on the high end side of my face, we are using MAC in Utter Pervet, and it's a luster. And it is this really icy pink, like super, super icy pink. Um, I'll swatch it for you right there. That's the color down at the bottom. It's really pretty. Um, it's like a lot creamier than most lusters I have. It's not so like flaky feeling, I guess. It feels like a lip gloss almost, like almost moisturizing, but it does have that kind of frostiness to it. And it's really pale. On the low end side of my face, I have what's not even a lipstick really. It is more of a lip treatment and that is the Soft Lips Tinted Lip Conditioner in the color Rose. It looks like this. And as you can see, it's also a frosty pink. This one is earthier, like, or not earthier, but darker in tone and frostier than the Utter Pervet. So that's Utter Pervet. And then this one right here, if you can see, is the, the one from Soft Lips. But I love this. It's I don't like Soft Lips normally, but I do love the tinted ones. And this one's really nice. Um, and even though it's frosty, sometimes frosty lipsticks kind of make your lips chap. But since this is a tinted lip conditioner, you're getting the conditioning and then the frosty one. So on top of that, just to frost myself even more because I'm so cold in the Chicago weather and I want to match. On the high end side of my face, on top of that Utter Pervet, I put down Max um, Dazzle Glass. Oh, you can't see that. Sorry. In Pleasure Principle. And it's just this... Um, kind of clear with sparkles really pretty and it comes with a sponge uh not a sponge uh what is this called <laughs> a brush applicator so there it is right there it's just a really pretty gloss super sparkly loves and then on the low inside of my face i put the berry m lip gloss I don't know which one this is because I want to say number three, but I thought I said number three last time, but it looks like this. It's not completely clear. It looks like a very pale pink, like it looks like ever so slightly pink and it's got tons of shimmer and I think it just looks pink because I mixed it with a pink lipstick, but I'm not sure. And this one comes with a sponge applicator. I'm going to do it next to it because it looks freaking exactly the same. Now, the shimmers in this one are more intense because I feel like uh, that's the Barry M one and then the MAC one's underneath. I feel like the shimmers in that one are more um, just silver versus the one from MAC has like pink, silver, blue. These are mostly just silver. So it kind of makes a slightly different color, but hello, cheaper option, <laughs> cheaper option. You can't say no to that. So. I think I'm done. And there you have it, my super icy splurge versus steel. I hope it is warm wherever you are. And if it's not, I hope you stay nice and toasty. Stay indoors, crank up the heat, and play with some makeup. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.